First at five o'clock, these images are hard to forget. Flames and dark smoke shooting into the air from the Arkema chemical plant in Crosby in the days right after Hurricane Harvey. I'm Bill Biasa. And I'm Lauren Freeman. Tonight we're getting a new timeline of events leading up to those explosions. Channel 2 investigator Mario Diaz is live in the newsroom with updated findings. Mario? That's right, Lauren. How did things horribly go wrong as quickly as they did? The U.S. Chemical Safety Board says they won't have any final answer. They did planning, and the question is, why wasn't it enough? This is one of the key takeaways from the U.S. Chemical Safety Board's investigation into explosions at the Arkema facility in Crosby. Hurricane Harvey made landfall. The CSB released this highly produced animation illustrating exactly what took place when Harvey was at its peak, including how power was cut off by man and Mother Nature. Without power, those warehouses were at risk of not staying cool enough to prevent decomposition of the organic peroxides. Pivotal because decomposition leads to explosions. In the days that followed, residents within a mile and a half of the plant were evacuated. The CSB says Arkema and its attorneys are cooperating with the investigation. They've given us kind of unfettered access to the site, to evidence, to witness, witnesses, to documents. The CSB adds they will look for any red flags in Arkema's emergency preparedness plans and look at how those plans were adjusted after the facility was added to the 100-year floodplain in 2007. They view the historic dynamics of this storm as an opportunity for Arkema and other chemical facilities to prepare for the unthinkable. We have a, an opportunity through this investigation and you know the, sh the shared learning and lessons uh, that we continue to undertake to help people plan again. is to plan and prepare for the impossible because as what we saw with Arkema, uh, the impossible can very easily become possible. Now this again, investigation is not set to wrap up until June of 2018. Reporting live from the newsroom, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Mario, thank you. We have expanded coverage of this story on our website. For a look at the timeline on the explosion at the Arkema plant, you can go to clicktohouston.com. There you'll also find a video timeline showing how the flooding affected the plant each day. It's all there on our homepage.